Okay, so doing the leak down test here. How I have this set up is that I got the bore scope here, um, and the bore, or sorry, this is the bore scope. Um, super handy. Um, got it stuck down into the uh, intake manifold, the center cylinders, uh, intake runners um, down in there. So that's what we're looking at here. Is the top of the valve uh, down inside of that uh, intake tube and um, so now that I can see that in the cylinder um, see what the doing, I just need to bump the uh, the starter over and in order to do that um, I pulled out the the starter relay here um, from the very bottom so it just connects, connects right here at the very bottom connection on the socket and then with the ignition key out of the ignition I got the battery cable hooked up here to the positive, uh, positive terminal on the battery uh, and then all I have to do now is take that wire from uh, the back that's going to the uh, starter relay and connect it to connect it to the um, the jumper cable um, battery positive. Here, see if I can show you how this works. Um, So let's look, maybe you can see here, let's see if I can do it like that. So you can see that open and close. See it just open and close. So now I know where the, uh, where that piston is on the, uh, it's a four cycle. So on which cycle it's the intake uh, cycle. So I'll bring the, bring it back around again until it opens. Just starting to open there. So I know the piston is on its way down to suck the uh, air and gas mixture in. And then when it gets to the bottom of the cylinder, uh, the piston's gonna come back up and, um, and then uh, right before it gets to the very top is a top dead center. And that's where I need to have it in order to do this leak down test, so. Okay, so I'm gonna put the borescope into the center cylinder here, and you can see what's going on here on my phone, camera, or my phone screen, sorry. Borescope's camera, gotta get into that hole, there we go. So now we can see the piston, top of the, oops, top of the piston, right there. And um, let's put the wire up here so it doesn't fall out of the hole. And then uh, take the uh, take the jumper cable and this, and here we go. So now it went down piston went back and then it's come back up so now I uh, need to connect the um, the tester equipment this, screw this into there okay so now that I got the uh, got this screwed into the spark plug hole there the center cylinder I'm gonna turn the let me get the lights real fast they automatically turn off on there. Um, so, <clears throat> gonna turn up the pressure here with the pressure regulator gauge. All right, regulator, I guess. And watch the gauge. You see the, this is a flow rate. It's flowing pretty high, but there's no pressure building up and we can hear it leaking somewhere, so. So let's go down here and listen. 
this. And if you can hear that, the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's leaking out of the exhaust valves here. So that is a good thing because I was afraid it was a bent rod or something, you know? And it looked like they were sealing, but apparently they're leaking pretty bad. So, so it looks like we got exhaust valve leak, which is a much easier fix than a bent rod, connecting rod. Okay, so I tested uh, the other bad cylinder. The low, com the one that had the low compression, this uh, back, back rear one that was uh, 42 um, psi. Tested that one, and uh, it was also leaking out of the exhaust valves. So right now I'm going to test the the highest one, which measured at 305 psi, and um, see if. Uh, we get any difference um, I, mean, I suspect that it's going to be sealed up and we're not going to get any leakage out of the exhaust valves at all so so that's what i'm going to do now just to uh, establish kind of like a control or baseline to the test so let's turn the pressure up let's see what happens It's definitely different. It's holding pressure in the cylinder, and the piston's not moving. So let's keep going up with it. Looks good. Let's see how much pressure we can put on it before it uh, pushes back. There goes the piston. The piston moved a tiny bit, but not bad. Okay. So we have the leaky exhaust valves, it looks like way better than bent, bent connecting rods <laughs> so should make Noah happy